Look, sometimes you just want a girl to put a collar on you and take you for walkies. Hello there, runner, and welcome back to another Sunday, which means it is time for Liv Watches Chainsaw Man. Oh boy. I'm very sick still. I have no idea what I have. Chat seems to think it's pneumonia. God, I hope it isn't. Yes, so we're watching Chainsaw Man, and I'm gonna try not to get stunlocked by chat again. But my brain is full of pudding, so who knows what's going to happen. In our last episode, they escaped the hotel, and we learned about Kobani's devil, the sloppy blowjob devil, and our boy made it to first base. He also got a free meal out of that base, too, so I mean, I guess, you know, worked out pretty well. <laughs> worked out pretty well for him, didn't it? So, yeah. Uh, let's get in here, stop wasting time, and see, <laughs> and see what happens. Because I've heard that people think I'm gonna hate this episode, or maybe like this episode a lot. We'll have to see, won't we? In three, two, one, and go. Oof, uh, oh no. Uh... Oh, we get to see this from her perspective! Hell yeah! Oh, they're both fucking blasted. How did she get drunker than him? And she's the one that had to walk him home. I swear to god, if they wind up fucking, like, jeezing. I guess he doesn't wear socks. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, those are, those are the kind of sandals that are kind of designed to wear socks with, so... Like, like, I mean, the meme aside, those types of socks that don't have- those kind of sandals that don't have the toe divider, they're actually designed for wearing socks with. It's for locations where you... Where you need the extra foot protection, but you don't need the layering that a regular shoe does. Ah, yes. Post-gaming. Socks and sandals are blasphemy. I mean, yeah, but that's what they're fucking designed for. Societally, we see it as a as as a heresy, but di but the designer was like, you know what? I would really like to be have a thing protecting my soul, but I don't need a full shoe. Her deal is that she's got a fat fucking ass. Ah, you don't need water. Hey, mate, why is your apartment bad? Oh, God, that looks so... yikes. Maybe... I'm really hoping that the the, the, the jank there is, in ter is intentional. Because it really... Oh, boy. That's not water. Yeah. Intentional jank cause drunk yeah, like I'm hoping I'm hoping that it's her altered perspective, yeah. Makima is kind of a bitch. Like, she's a bitch that I'm a really big fan of, but she is a bitch. Hey, 
takes one to know one. Exactly. Look, sometimes you just want a girl to put a collar on you and take you for walkies. But that's not what- that, I don't think that's what Denji needs. I feel like Denji needs someone who'll let him go beyond that a little bit. Shut. Shut, Mystic. See, what what we don't know, what we don't know is that when Denji got the chainsaw devil, not only did he get that pull chain on his chest, he got another one right above his dick that turns his dick. <laughs> hey Denji, wanna do it? <laughs> Three tugs on the chain, and he's good to go for, like, four hours. Oh, I should not have moved my head that much. Oh, fuck my head. Ugh, my brain. Ow. Saw him on an actual leash? Yes, you did. <coughs> oh, fuck! Thank you for the gift subs, Kadobo. Thank you. I thought you meant taking walkies for myself. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it is. <laughs> oh, that fucking Cult of the Lamb redeem. It never goes away. I should just like change the fucking price on it to like zero or something. Where's the collar? What do you think is under the scarf? Okay, so they fucked, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, you can. Because she's, like, actually superior to Makima. And she's not gonna let him do it. She was... Oh, I know, she's actually doing it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. His dick is just a smaller chainsaw. Like, I want her to, like, pull his pants down, and there's just another, like, a fucking, a Daewoo chainsaw just sticking out right there. What? What? Is this a flashback, or did he never leave the bar? Oh no, his kiss virginity has been ruined. Oh no, precious baby. Hey, look. Everyone here has tasted someone else's puke at least once, alright? Fucking Denji is being such a bitch about this. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mood immediately killed for them. Let's go. 
Why is iPad Girl better? So, I mean, Makima. Okay, so Makima is actively a sociopath. Like, okay, so I like Makima. I like Makima a lot. I'm super down for the existence of a waifu who is unironically a sociopath, and the and the, and the show does not even try to redress it. Right? Totally fine with that. In fact, I welcome it. Right? But something about incredibly damaged waifu, incredibly damaged eye patch waifu. is also incredibly endearing. Especially when she's incredibly damaged, but also doesn't let it make her timid. This show has a lot of really, really strong female characters, right? Like, asking me to pick a favorite one... Asking me to pick a favorite one... Mm, I don't know, it's not really possible. I love them all, but... I feel like Denji, specifically, with the background he has, the upbringing he has, I feel like Makima is probably the worst fucking choice. I pick a favorite one, one, bork, bork. Hmm. Her personality is shitty, that's not stopping him. Oh no. A secret alliance to save Aki from her bullshit by sacrificing you to it. Is this the flesh wound waifu? Yeah. Like, once we're at the end of this, I'll go over it, but, like, I'm really enjoying these characters so far. Like, once we're at the end of the end of the episode. I think our timer's a little busted. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, friendship obtained. Everyone with her eye? Gun devil. Oh I know. No, the timer's the timer's the timer's accurate, never mind. Yeah, gun devil shot her eye out. And I can't wait to see the Shinkasen devil. Apparently the gun devil is every type of gun. I still can't believe, right, that Japan had an old capital in Kyoto. Right? And then when they had to make a new capital, they're like, hey, yo, what should we call it? I don't know. I've got this anagram maker, though. Let me just put the old capital's title in the anagram maker. Alright, uh, how does Tokyo feel? Like, that's how I fucking feel. Like, I have no idea, like, what the actual, like, lang linguistic... Neat. Well, that solves a problem. Where are they going to have the really powerful devil? Like, there's Spility Devil or the Texas Devil? Oh boy. I want to know where the fucking childbirth devil is. Oh, the tax devil is 100% in charge of the IRS. This is the episode where we kill every single main character. So, 
So that's Makima dead. Kobeni dead. Arai dead. Unfortunately, now Denji's either gonna have to get really into necrophilia, or... He's gonna have to die. So when is this guy gonna pull a gun on them? Like when is this guy gonna fucking pull a gun on them? Like like it 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 it's it, 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 it's 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 clear that that's what's about to happen here, right? Oh. Let's go! Let's go! I mean, like, Denji's fine, just bleed on him a little bit. I'm really hoping Himeno is wearing her fucking vest. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? What the- is this guy the katana devil? What the fuck? My man thinks he fucking chainsaw man for real. Holy shit! I don't know what this swords deal is though, because he had it set so much. We had it set up so much in in the previous episode. Like holy fuck. What's what is this counting down to? What is this counting down to? Well, there goes the sword devil, I guess. Man. Man, it's almost as if the gun devil would give his fucking followers guns. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? I'm- I'm fucking sorry, what?
Damn, I, I, I guess I didn't know that Chainsaw Man 1 ended so early and 2 uh, had such a downer ending. God damn. Okay, somebody give Denji some blood, though, so Denji can just put this guy in the fucking ground. Come on, now. Oh, they're all just having, like, a real bad time today, huh? Is what you're referring to everyone dying, or is it this moment right here? Oh, that's a- that's a lot of hands. Everyone getting shot. I mean, everyone getting shot. I think that's kind of funny. Oh, that's red as shit. So, so yeah, like, they all fucking die here. All right, then. I guess our, like, our, our cast of characters just shroop, shrink that shit down. Hey, Astra. And down goes her arm. Okay, that's supposed to be the ghost devil, though. How can a ghost get bit by a snake? What the fuck? Like, if it's supposed to be the ghost devil, like, what the fuck? And... she's gone. Really pulling no punches, are they? The ghost- ah, ah, there you go. See, there you figured it out. It's a ghost snake. We fi okay, we solved the problem. The fuck? So... So that's, like, Kobeni dead. That's... Makima dead. That's- what's her name? Himeno dead. Fucking... Shit. They're every- I saw someone saying they were done with the anime once- now that every main character is killed. I'm fucking sorry, what? I'm fucking sorry, what? The only main characters in this fucking show are Denji, Aki, and Power. <sighs> what? I think this is actually really cool. I think this is actually really fucking neat, and it's something that could still actually turn itself around. So... So first off, I want to point out... The only people we actually saw die were... Pardon me. Whoa, 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 dizzy, 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 dizzy. Dizzy. By the way, this ending, still a banger, by the way. It's a banger again. The only characters we actually saw bit bite the bucket were Himeno and... Oh shit, oh fuck, I'm sorry Shadow, I'm sorry, we were watching the latest episode, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, oh shit. Um, 
Like, mute. Mute for, like, the next 10 seconds. Mute for the next 10 seconds. So, like, yeah, we saw Himeno die. We saw uh, Makima die. And that's it. Sai just, Sai just shouted what from the next room. So, the characters we didn't see die. We did not see Kobeni die. We did not see Arai die. And we didn't see, like, some of the other jobber devil hunters die. Like, they didn't die on screen. Their deaths were implied. So, so, and, and as for Denji, remember, Denji, so long as Denji has blood, human, demon, or otherwise, he can keep going. Denji has revived from literal pieces. Like, so long as someone can get some blood in his mouth, he's good. And remember, one of Denji's, like, best friends is the fucking blood devil. So... Kinda, kinda just kinda works out in that way. Um, I don't think Makima is dead for real. I, like, there's, like... If they... If they stick with this... If they stick with this, they'll be very brave. But I feel like it's something they're not going to do. This feels like something that they set up as a, as a, like, ooh, spooky shit happening. Um... But, like, not spooky shit, but, like, oh, man, everything's fucked. And at the end of it, it's gonna be, like, Makima's just gonna walk in with a fucking, like, a six-shooter and just fucking pop the gun devil in the head and be like, Well done, Denji, I knew you could do it. Now, who wants to go on... Who wants to go for a walk? Who wants to go for a walk? Come on, boy. You know? Like... Because I... Hang on, let me... Let me scroll back to the... She was, but, uh, let me... Let me scroll back here. By the way, Shadow Rose, I'm very sorry if we just, like, dumped a massive spoiler on you. We just got done watching the episode. I'm very sorry. I just want to look at Makima's corpse real quick. Okay. You don't know what anime we're even talking about. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. I was so worried. Alright, so, looking at Makima's corpse, I see, uh, definite abdomen wound, definite chest wound, Potential head wound, though that might just be splatter. I'm gonna say that because I don't see a definite what is definitely a head wound, because that very much could be splatter. I'm gonna say Ma there's a good chance Makima might still be alive because they there was a line in this episode. There was a line in this episode that the Sword Devil said, and he said. I think the sword devil said it. it might have been the girl with him. I don't remember. Uh, he said, uh, those... Those devil hunter suits are, are tough. They're built, they're built strong. They're built, they're built diffy. So, the guy sitting next to Makima has no wounds. Has no wounds in his, in his, in his body from what I can tell, but he does have a massive fucking bullet wound in the back of his head. Makima looks like most of her wounds are in her torso. So I feel like they're setting up the idea that Makima is 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 playing possum. Makima's playing possum. And she probably turn like immediately as the camera pans around pans away, she just fucking unleashes whatever devil bullshit she's got she's got and she just lights them the fuck up. But yeah, like I, I think this episode was actually really good. I, I really uh, I really liked it. I liked everything that went on. I appreciate the fact that they set all these characters up and then took them away from us one by one, but it's also in such a way that, like, we didn't actually see a good chunk of them die. We saw Makima die. We saw Kobeni die. <coughs> <coughs> but not Kobeni, um, Himeno. We saw, we saw Makima die. We saw, Ko we saw Himeno die. Um, but, like, Kobeni, Arai, like, a lot of the other jobbers, we weren't, we didn't actually get visual confirmation of their death, which to me, until I see a body, I'm not gonna believe they're actually dead. Until either we see a body or we are told by someone who we trust. So, Denji, or Aki, or, actually no, not Denji, Denji's a moron. Uh, Aki, yeah, Aki. Until Aki tells us that he's seen the body or we see the body ourselves, they're not dead. 
Um, even coffins don't count unless those coffins are open. I, but yeah, I think that was. I think that's really good. It's a, it's a really good. It's a really good setup. Like we had our main characters introduced. We had bonds, and we had everything be. Oh yeah, and the super katana being a needle. I fucking love that. Like every like, I'll get I'll get to it. I'll get I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. There's so much this episode, and I wish I wasn't sick so I could give like a better, more coherent analysis. But um. But uh, the. Yeah, just the, the way that it's all set up is absolutely fucking masterful. These past few episodes of like, hey, here's the devil hunting. Here's the devil hunting group. Here's everything to do that we're doing. Here's Makima. Here's your here's your here's your squad. Here's your here's your boys, your Nakamas. Make sure you Mamaru them, motherfucker. You know, just boom 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 boom. Like here's all these characters for you to get attached to and love. By the way, I'm about to shoot them in the fucking head. Especially after they had that massive team building exercise in that hotel. And now, and then they had like that big old drinking thing. Like Himeno and Denji like bonded over awkwardly not having sex. And then, and then we just have this fucking sledgehammer of an episode. And it's like really, really, it's really, really popped off. And it's really great. And I love it. Um, I... And ironic, I think this is like one of the best anime of the year. Uh, the there being a, a guy who has very very similar design language to Denji being uh, connected to Denji. I think the fox demon dead said it's not a human or a demon. Who do we know that qualifies? Denji does. Denji qualifies, and that guy is very very similar to Denji. Like I said, introducing to us a new antagonist who is very, very similar to Denji, being the sword demon, or whatever the fuck, sword devil. And... Exactly. Exactly, Astra. And... Shit, sorry. Like, having him be the same type of, the same type of devil as Denji, and then, um... giving us this, uh, like, the, his connection to Denji through the Yakuza, the same Yakuza that put Denji in um, servitude for basically his entire life is really interesting. Cause it means we get to see both sides. We get to see, like, yeah, we basically, like, just, it's it's Denji's fault that shit got as fucked up as it did just now, you know? Because, like, it's because Makima brought Denji in after Denji uh, well, killed that Yakuza, which, I mean, I know, like, isn't entirely fair to Denji, but I'm speaking from this guy's perspective. Like, from from that guy's perspective, it's Denji's fault that he's, one, the sword devil, and two, killing Den all of Denji's friends. It's actually pretty neat. It's I, I, I like it quite a bit. Um, and the fact that we have this character who's got the same design elements, same um, origin as Denji, and also very much a similar power set to Denji, but then take Denji out of the out of the situation for his first appearance is actually a really really fun way to do it because it means we can see the full breadth of what Denji could do if Denji was evil without Denji stepping in to stop evil Denji and that's actually really fucking good and I like that I like that a lot um the uh, the sword being revealed to being a curse needle, a, a traditional Japanese curse needle, but like fucking massive and styled into a katana, is also really fucking cool. And it's the one thing about Japanese occultism that I really, really wish um, spread like elsewhere. Like Western occultism is fucking boring. It's way too Judeo-Christian. You know, we've got. We've got, oh, we've got pentagrams, we've got demonology, we've got fucking necronomicon, we've got tomes bound in flesh, but it dee doo dee doo Like, it's just, it's like, boring, Judeo-Christian, hacky bullshit, right? Like, give me that real occult shit. Give me totems made of bird bones. Give me needles that draw, that draw curse. Give me ceiling talismans that contain... A kitsune with a with a with a giant ball sack that if it touches you, your fucking testicles shrink off and turn into avocados. Yeah, like fucking like Japanese occultism 
is fucking weird, fucking wacky, and fucking gross, and I love it. Like, if I could, if I could replace, like, just, like, like, honestly, I feel like if I were to write a story, or if I were to write some sort of setting that had a massive occultist thing, I feel like I would draw way more inspiration from Japanese occultism than I ever would Western occultism, because god fucking damn it. Like, Western occultism is so drawn from Judeo-Christian stuff, it's embarrassing. Runes, alchemy, and various ritual curses. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, voodoo has needles and dolls. Yeah, and that's why, yeah, and like, I mean, and Haitian voodoo, Haitian voodoo and occultism is also really good, but also, I feel like I can't touch that ever, because Haitian voodoo isn't occultism, it's a religion. Like, and, and I know, like, the, the difference is, the difference there is, it seems like it's a non-entity kind of thing, but, like, <sighs> fuck. There's a difference between a cultural practice and a religion. Haitian voodoo is an explicitly practiced religion with very, very specific things and very, very specific, like, rites and, 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 and protocols and shit like that. Like, and, and it's very, very easy to get very very offensive. Um, Japanese occultism isn't so much a religion as it is a widely accepted variety of cultural practices that they kind of like tack on where their existing religions didn't really do much. It's like, oh, there's a kitsune rampa rampaging through those fields and it's causing... I don't know, fields to go fallow or whatever. Okay, so there's this rock. I'm gonna conk a fucking fox on the head with this rock and trap the kitsune spirit within. Then I'm gonna tie it with these magic strings and I'm gonna put a- I'm gonna put a- put a ceiling talisman on it. Now, nobody touch this fucking rock. If this rock ever splits, the kitsune gets out. By the way, that's a real thing that happened and that rock split earlier this year. We are fucked. Yeah. This episode was really good. I really enjoyed it. My throat really hurts. My throat really hurts, so I'm going to stop talking for just a minute. So, if you're watching on YouTube, then this is where you get off. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're gonna be back- we're gonna be back with more, uh, streams today, hopefully. Hopefully I will be streaming today at 4. I'm still very sick, so if it gets rescheduled, I'm very, very sorry. And also, hopefully we'll be watching some anime on Monday. If you're watching on Twitch, then stick around. We're gonna be watching more. If you if you want to join us on Twitch, you can always come to twitch.tv forward slash live the cyberdoll, where we try and stream every single day at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh boy, I am very sicky right now, so the schedule's a little up in the air. But hopefully, I'll see you there. Have a have a good one, Runner. Bye bye. <laughs>